Well, I don't know if it's going to be the same video or the last video, but you may or may not remember. I made the drawers too wide. I had estimated these. They didn't have the drawer sides with me at a quarter inch each side. Turns out they're a half inch. I could fit one on one side, but not the other. So alas, not the end of the world. I went and borrowed a friend's router table and now these just sit in countersunk and I'm going to have some mounting issues on the thinness of the material, but I've got that figured. First order of business is to get these mounting the drawers. Once the drawers are mounted, then I can put the faces on. So one of the challenges with 80-20 is that you're tied to which fasteners you can use. And the M5 bolt I'm using doesn't fit through these holes, like just barely. If I used an Allen key, I could probably thread it through. But rather than thread it through, I'm just gonna drill it out. Because it really just barely needs to be widened. I need to make sure I drill the right two out. Try it again. Oh no, still snug. I have to go up one more size and drill a bit. From a 3 8 to a 7 30 seconds. I left the drill. That is probably one of my biggest problems leaving crap. Ooh, it's thunder up above. Okay, now I'm only going to do one until I make sure that this one actually fits and goes together right. And then I'll do the rest. Don't want to modify anything you don't have to. And I don't want to change them in a way that I might realize later that it doesn't work. So it's always good to start small, little bites as they say.
Okay, so problem number 4,387. When I measured up this cabinet, I didn't take into account that the drawer slides need a quarter of an inch in front of themselves for the push action to work. So I have my pillars that they're, the drawer slides are being mounted to in the wrong spot. That's one of the great things about 8020. With a few small holes for access, I can move things around without needing to rebuild the whole thing. So I'm gonna take this cabinet out. I've gotta make those few adjustments, put the drawer slides in, and then we'll be good to go. One eternity later. Okay, so turned into a little bit more of a debacle than I was hoping, but everything has changed now. I had to widen these so that the bolts on the, the drawer slides fit just right. When I had measured them before, yeah, it was just, I measured them being right completely butted up against the front of the drawer, but I forgot that there's got to be a quarter inch of play there. So now that those are all reset where they need to be, I'm going to put the drawer slides and drawers in while it's here and open before I put the tabletop back on just because it'll be easier.
So drawers are complete. It was a little bit more work than I had hoped. Sometimes the best laid plans uh, don't go necessarily as expected. But if you roll with the punches, it always comes together. The drawers, they're the push lock. Huh, rubbing on that. It's got a little bit of rubbing right there that's not letting it come out. But either way, it's ready, it's done. Needs a little fine tuning. That's all done in the uh, in the drawer slides, but that's a problem for fall, Marilyn and Eric. But other than that, it's uh, ready to pack, so stay tuned. We're gonna do a uh, packing ASMR video. Yeah, the organization, apparently that's all the rage with the kids these days. As soon as I say that, they're all grown. But it will be exciting. Marilyn has been looking forward to this more than anything else in the entire build. Alrighty. Until next time. What the hell? What's going on? I just made this one really short.